Hi, this is Bob Galise with One Man and a Hammer and OneManandAHammer.com. Thanks for joining me today. I want to talk about remodeling, home remodeling that is, and contracts. Typically the biggest problem in my 40 years in this industry has been the contract. And what's in the contract, but more specifically, what isn't in the contract. Uh, when you're getting proposals for a bathroom, for a kitchen, whatever it is you're remodeling in your home, you want to make sure that you're getting everything down in writing. Um, there's a lot of discussions that go on. A lot of things are said um, sitting at the table or standing in the room that you're going to remodel. A lot of things are talked about. Uh, bottom line is, whatever is talked about has got to be put in that contract. For instance, um, when you get a proposal that says, okay, we're going to build you a new three foot by four foot shower. Uh, we're going to tile the walls. Number one, what is the allowance for the tile that they're giving you? Number two, what are they putting on those walls to make sure those walls are waterproof, not water resistant? The professional contractors typically use a waterproofing system, not just a typical cement board and they leave it go. Um, number three, you want to make sure that when you're talking about fixtures and you're talking about materials, you get allowances. Those allowances can be per square foot, for instance, for ceramic tile. Uh, you want to make sure that you're getting a per square foot price if you haven't already selected a tile get a per a per square foot price from your contractor when you're talking about a faucet maybe there'll be a hundred dollar allowance for the faucet maybe there'll be a hundred fifty dollar allowance for the sink maybe for the countertop he's going to give you fifteen hundred dollar allowance for a laminate top or solid surface granite um, quartz whatever it may be uh, but bottom line is you've got to get that information in writing and i understand that sometimes you know, a faucet allowance is easy for you to go online and see, yeah, okay, what are faucets going for? The more difficult things to try and figure out are the countertops. So you call local fabricators. Say, listen, I'm going to have 10 square feet of granite. How much is that going to cost me? So you get an idea if that allowance makes sense or not. So when it all boils down to at the end, you want to make sure it's written in that contract. If it isn't, it was never said, and that will create problems in the long run. Thanks for watching today, and you can also join me every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time on WELW.com, where I host the Home Toolbox radio program. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you another time.